guys, welcome back. This is lesson three of Miss Sunshine's cursive videos. So we're gonna go ahead and start today with letters R and S. So let's go ahead and jump right in. You should be remembering the lessons that we've already done. We're doing a lot of uphill motions um, and making sure that we're paying close attention to where on the line that I'm drawing my letters and that you're trying to do about the same. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna start with R first. For R, we're gonna start at the bottom line. We're gonna slant slightly upwards to get to the middle line, and then we're going to do kind of like a little boop, but not going back all the way up. So we're just gonna go about halfway down and we're gonna do a little swooping motion. And then we're gonna swoop in closer and then swoop right out like that. So it almost looks like a wave pattern that has the little tip cut off. So here we go, let's try it again, watch me. We're gonna slant up, boop down about halfway, and then we're gonna squish out for a little swoop just like that. Okay. I like to have my lowercase r's pretty close to one another, not spaced completely out. So if you're giving yourself too much room here, please make sure that you're scooching back in. Go ahead and try. We're gonna go up, come down just a little bit, and then come out just like that. Go ahead and try a few. Pick your best one and circle it. I like mm, this one. Okay. Going on to our S's. Now the S's remind me of a little sailboat sail. Okay, so we're gonna go up to the middle line, but then we're gonna kind of have like the belly of a bird coming back down. So we're gonna go up to the line then we're going to kind of swoop in and touch, making sure that the belly of the bird is sitting on the line, and then trace that line back out to create your little swoop there, okay? I tell my kids this looks like a bird because if you add a little beak, it looks just like a little birdie sitting there. All right, let's go ahead and continue. We're going to swoop up. We're going to come down, make the belly touch the line, touch your line again of your swoop and then trace it back out. Okay, go up, make the belly touch the line, and then trace it back out. Make sure that you're hitting that first line that you're creating so it makes a good solid contact. Go ahead and make a few. Make sure that Top of that swoop goes all the way up and hits that middle line and that the belly touches the bottom. Okay, go ahead and pick whichever one is your favorite. I'm gonna say mm, this guy. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna use some of the letters that we've already practiced with our R's and S's to create some words. Let's go ahead and start with the word um, is. So we're going to use one of the I's that we created before. I into our S and come back for the dot above it. Okay, do that one more time. And that's the word is. And practice some of our R's connecting them together. So we're going to come up to our R, boop halfway down, and then bring that around just like that. Okay, we're going to come up, connect them together. Just like that. Let's do it one more time. Up, boop down, continue all the way back up to the middle line. Let's try the word rise, like the sun is rising. So R, 
I, S, E, back foot into the E, remember? Come back for your I. Let's do it one more time. R, I, S, back foot into your E. Okay, let's practice some S's put together, a bunch of little birds in a line. the belly hits the bottom just like that let's go ahead and do a couple more there you go okay I'm gonna move this up real quick and we're gonna do a couple more words using our letters let's try the word sir like yes sir so s i R. Come back for the dot. S. I. R. Okay. How about the word see? Like I see something with my eyes. So S. E. E. Doing two back flips there. Let's do it one more time. S. E. E. Remember when you're going back into your E's that you kind of space that slanted line up a little bit so you have plenty of room to go backwards so you're not bumping into your other letters. All right, good job. All right, for the next part of lesson three, we're gonna be doing the letters F, P, and J, okay? Now, these letters go below the bottom line, okay? So we're gonna be practicing going below the bottom line and either coming back up forward we're going behind for our loops. So we're gonna start with our F. Now what you're gonna notice about the F is it kind of looks like a lowercase b, but stretched out, okay? So we're gonna start like we're going into a lowercase l. We're gonna go all the way to the tippy top. Back flip, keep it kind of straight. We're gonna cross through what we just did all the way down below the bottom line. But instead of coming back up to the middle line like a b would, we're gonna come back to the bottom line and touch, and then we're gonna slant out like that. Okay, that's a lowercase f. Okay, let's try it one more time. We're gonna go up like a lowercase l, straight down below the bottom line, come up, touch the bottom line forward, and then swoop out. Let's try that a few more times. This one is a tricky one, so take your time. Back flip straight down, touch the bottom line, and swoop out. Remember, if you need to pause the video, go ahead. I've been doing these for a long time, so remember, practice makes perfect. I'm going to pick my favorite one. I think it's going to be this guy over here. Go ahead and circle your favorite one that you did. Good job. Okay. Let's go ahead and practice our lowercase p. Okay. So for p, it's a little interesting. So we're going to go up slant up to our middle line. But then we're going to go straight down and instead of coming up forward, we're going to go behind, kind of meet where that touches that middle line and then make our P shape there and trace that out for a swoop. Okay, watch me again. We're going to slant up to the middle line, go almost straight down, go backwards, touch that top peak that you made before, Come out with P, slant up. Go ahead and try that a few times or watch me a few more times until you're comfortable. Oop, that one had a long tail.
Now we're going to do that one's cousin. This is going to be slightly easier now that you've practiced the P. Okay, remember to go back and circle your favorite P. Mine is that one. Good job. Okay, so the J is very similar to the same movements as you've created for the F's and the P's. So you're going to come up to the line like before. You're going to go straight down, you're going to loop up, and then swoop straight out. So instead of coming up to the tip like you would for the P, you're going to go through that bottom line instead. And then you're going to come up and put your dot for your J. Okay? So we're going to swoop up, go straight down, try to cross that bottom line, and come up with your J dot. Just like that. And do a few of those. Okay. Go ahead and circle your favorite one. Let's see, my first one was my favorite. J, going below the bottom line for the first time. Okay, now we're going to write some words that go along with these letters and some that we've already learned. All right, so we're going to go ahead and write the word feet. Okay, so we're going to go up all the way to the tippy top like a backwards L straight down, come forward with the loop, and then swoop up, okay? So, backwards, into the backwards E, there we go, straight up to the T, trace down, and put a slash through the middle, feet, okay, backwards, and put some F's together in a line. So we're gonna go backwards, past the bottom, loop up front, come out, and instead of stopping at that line, we're gonna continue straight up to do another one. Just like that. I'm gonna do it one more time, show you again. J's in a row. Oops. Try that again. <laughs> okay. Middle, down below, middle, down below, middle, down below. ahead and do a couple more words. Okay, first one we're going to do is up. So we're going to go into our U and then into our P below the line. Just like that. Oh, 
let's do some peas in a row. Pick them up backwards. Make that middle line. Backwards. Make that middle line. Okay. Go ahead and do some more practice. Lesson three of our cursive lessons. Thank you for joining me.